strengthen your majesty's claim. I bear word from Regent Ken Spen, your majesty. Yes, but a minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's torches and from the pains he took to remain on scene, that alone is reason to suspect that the Regent Kin intends to call Allah. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the minister's chambers and see if there's ought to be. I shall ensure that the door to the minister's chambers is open. We have been entrusted. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are- Ah, yes. Regarding your pursuer from some days past, as we suspected, when he learnt of your majesty's escape, he began inquiring after your move as to how he learned your majesty's location with such ease. I shall be sure to inform you when I do. So the agent was of Batal after all. Is this way? You there? Are you looking to enter the village? You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. That man just now seems rather on edge. What could he have seen here to inspire such suspicion? Don't bring trouble to my door, you hear? Can't say I have any tidings to share. Greetings. I must say I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. Arthur, you say? I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont. And you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the... In response, she's... Oops. I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village. Is there aught else you care to ask? If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited.
You made it after all. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is. His real name is Dora. He was one of us, once. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief maester, but he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Me thinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the Maester's teaching. Not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. That all you wanted to ask? Aye. Till next time, then. You're the one, then. Fie. I'd hoped I'd not be seeing you here. This boat... Dear me. This won't do. That's quite enough. How dare... How dare you? Can't say I've any tidings. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Not half bad. Not half bad. You're here. I've been waiting for you. Now that's just splendid. <laughs> that's made my day. That all you wanted to ask? Aye. Till next time.
So this is where you were, Master. I searched... If we are to strengthen your Majesty's claim as a true... Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your Majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces, and all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude. Sir, the false sovereign operates at the behest of Queen Regent Deesa. This spider has woven her web rather carefully. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Tis no simple matter to infiltrate the cast. Should you fall into the hands of the guards, there'll be naught I can do to keep you out of jail. However, a sentry loyal to me will be on duty at the time of your infiltration. I have taken the liberty of informing her of our plan. I am afraid she will be unable to aid you directly. But she will know to look the other way if she spots you. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work... Over here! Yes? The cat, follow me! Guards spy you. I will be forced to play my part. Pray be cautious. I wish the minister would be more careful. He takes the sentinel posted outside his chambers with him everywhere. There are times when no one stands.
What business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour? I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me now. If Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently. Surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, Your Grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. Well, well. We meet again. Is this stealthy business becoming a habit of yours? Oi! Who goes there? Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Wilhelmina. Mm-hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though, we had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But might I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Ah, uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. Hmm. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. Me. Hey. Wait right there! There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. I know this sigil well. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Batal, a land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It reads, True to our word, we offer you the power of the Godsway. Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, to be certain. Though, tis clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermund and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, 
To see our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it. And ere it slips my mind, pray, take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Phasus. Now there's a name to remember. As a reward for your majesty, you will, of course, require raiment befitting of the occasion. I would ask that your majesty return once you've procured such attire. Pray, follow me. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. As it all shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, Tis best you do so before we depart. Very well. Pray, is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the. There is much we ought to attend to. If we are. Or shall change once we have attended the coronation. If Your Majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Your Majesty, that attire, it. It may be unsuitable. Tis a formal affair, you see. I apologize for my brusqueness. But pray, seek out proper raiment. I shall await you here. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve. There is much we ought to tell. Or shall change if your majesty has any on very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty would do well to get a good night's rest. Turn to the tavern. Sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the god's way mentioned in that letter. A chance is a tool that grants power king to that of the true arisen. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this god's way's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy, Shall be difficult indeed. Allow me to speak to the agent we captured some days past. Perchance he knows aught of use. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this God's way? There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to, if the information we pride from, I believe it is worthy of investigation. Should yet official dealings twixt Vermund and Batal are suspended, 
and tis no simple matter to gain passage through the latter's fort. Fortunately for us, however, the agent was hiding this on his person. Tis an entry permit, allowing passage through Batal's fortress. It even bears the crest of the Batali Palace. It must have been commissioned, but I doubt any would dare impede your passage with such an item in your possession. There is one other thing, Your Majesty. With the permit came information I found most intriguing. An oracle who once served in the Vermondian court now resides in Batal. This oracle foretold the coming of the Arisen and was banished from the kingdom when her prophecy displeased the queen. Indeed, it was by this same oracle's power that the agent in question came to know of your majesty. The oracle knows much of the Arisen. Should you make her acquaintance, she may be able to offer you aid during your infiltration. You have my fullest confidence. Do not forget that we were to...